Pittsburgh's offense has given them a one-goal lead here, but it could easily be more, Ray. Yeah, they've got the majority of shots and good chances in this first period. See what they do in the last half of it. They've got numbers. With some momentum driving towards the net, and he comes up with it. Yeah, he's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. Effective use of the paddle on that one. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Look out, here's a 2 on oh, yes, He scores! Oh, he completes the hat trick! And here come the doors opening up. They'll come out to clean up the hats that are going to be tossed onto the ice. Three times he's been able to score tonight. Some guys like to shoot, some guys like to deep. You can shoot the puck like that on a breakaway. I'd pick that as option A. Kings won the draw. From the point, looks to make something happen. Misses over the net. Oh, man, he's frustrated with himself. He's got to get that on the net. Here they come, three of them. Comes up with the stop. The Dream Killers have it against the wall. Over the line they come. They've got the defense outnumbered. King's got the puck now in his own end. To his teammate. Takes control of the puck. Grabs the puck here at the blue line. Puck scooped up by Hunt. Pittsburgh's got control of it now from their own end. And we've got a two-on-one. Oh, Score! Oh, I think they made a postage stamp of this in sweet once. Yeah, that's the Peter Forsberg. What agility to pull this off. And the courage in that close to try this move. What patience. He holds the puck, moves it to his forehand, and fires it past the goaltender. The Dream Killers have capitalized on their scoring opportunities and lead comfortably here late in the first. Here's the call. Penalty shot on the way. Trying to get to the puck. He reaches his stick right into the guy's feet. And down he goes. Here's his chance. One on one with the goal. Scores! Scores! Best advice I ever got on a penalty shot is don't go anywhere near the bench. Too many different opinions. Collect your thoughts and make your play. Here in the dying moments of this period, the bench warmers are trying to get back into this one as they still trail by two goals. Sends it across. Puck leaves the zone, forcing a mass exodus. This one. Oh, a clutch save. Lockhart's athleticism serves them well there. Excellent stop. Well, lots of jump at both ends of the ice here as the first period comes to an end. Well, what a start offensively for both sides. It's 4-2 after 20. breather here in this first intermission we'll do the same and get ready for period number two Second period set to get underway. Well, after an intriguing opening period, here we go. It's period number two. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. And here's a chance with a penalty shot on the way. I guess it's a little bit of bad luck, James. I mean, he's reaching for the puck. He's in position to try and keep the play moving, but he trips him up. He scores! Nice move. Slick move. Good patience. Goaltender really doesn't have a chance after he bites on that first move. Pittsburgh's brought it tonight. They absolutely have dominated here, especially with the goal scoring. They've been faster. They played with more skill, and they are filling the net. What a fun night to play in. Trying to shake the defender. He's clear. Oh, He's
Welcome back, everyone, alongside Ray Farrell. I'm James Sabalski. Well, it was a tough outcome the last time they were on the ice. Here's a chance to kind of redeem themselves, if you will, in this EASHL showdown. lined up in the middle. We are ready to get things underway. Puck is dropped and we are underway. This has been one we've been waiting for for a while and it's time to finally see what the payoff is all about. Takes the shot. Takes that one right in the logo. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Mason's won it in their own end. Ben DeHaan stick handling in his own zone. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. Boston's on the attack. Here's a shot, and that's blocked away. Takes the puck along the boards. He's going to need some help here. He's pretty clearly struggling on the ice. Banged up in this shift somewhere. Just wants to get the puck out to center ice and get the heck off the ice. And now he tries to get it across to Jones. Moves along the blue line. Fires one, and the lane's clogged up blocking that. Big time stop there. The bench warmers get a hold of the puck along the boards. And now it's over to Jones. In all alone on the breakaway. Scores! He had to be ready for this puck to end up on his stick. He doesn't take any time at all. The goalie's not set, it's in the net. Well, that slick hand, once he is away from the pack, he's able to slow down take the move he wants, and he finishes it beautifully. Pittsburgh's got the game's first goal as they lead here, 1-0 early in the first. Always awesome to be in front of the game. You push the pace. You make the other team uncomfortable when you're out front. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Shot from the wall. Turns it aside. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. one nothing the score. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Off target! And now he angles it across to Kong. No one back, a 2 on 0 Slides it across. Great save! Oh, I thought he was going to beat him, but the goalie comes up large. Mason's 
won the faceoff. Taken along the wall by Mason. Looking to make something happen at center. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. Boston's got a hold of it against the wall. Puck lands back onto a stick. Mason's moving the puck through his own zone. And they'll be forced to regroup as the puck escapes the offensive end. Scoops up the puck now. And the linesman calls icing on the play. Past the midway mark in this period. 1-0 is where we sit at this point. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Play whistle dead because of an offside. This neutral zone face-off set to go, and we are back underway. Offside is the call, but we'll have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. Andrews won possession. Puck picked up by Sparks. Fires it! Oh, what a stop! Picked up along the wall by Jones. Boston's got a hold of it along the wall. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Here's a shot. Blocker save. Heads deep inside the offensive zone. Another stop by the goaltender. Really sharp. Never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. Now a quick pass to Mason. Mason's got it in the defensive end. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Stopping the play. Late goings of this period. We got a 1-0 game to this point. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Moves the puck inside. Oh, yeah, a great, oh, yeah, a little shimmy shake, a one-handed deep, and he's got a highlight real goal. Once he gets in that close, you know it's going to be a deke. He sells the shot, though. The goalie bites on it, and he goes to the forehand. Makes no mistake to put it in the net. Assisted by number 18. And by number 10, time of the goal, 19 minutes. Let's it go. Stop some cold. Can't connect. Well, this one's so far living up to the hype as the first period comes to an end. It's 2-0 after the opening frame. Pretty good start for one side. Not so much for the other. And as both teams head to their respective rooms, two more periods still to come. We're looking forward to it here on EA Sports. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James. Second period set to go. Here we go. Middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Moves it quickly over to Mason. Huge steal in his own end. Jones gains the zone. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Picked up along the boards by Mason. Great poise here as he gets it back. Here's a shot, wide of the net. You kick yourself in the tail after you miss a chance like this. Has to be on the net. Scooped up along the wall by Mason. 
Unleashes a cannon! Denies him with a save! Lots of time left in this period, and it's a comfortable 2-0 lead we're looking at right now. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Keeps hold of the puck. Great poke check on the reach. Manages to hang on. Moved out in front. Denies him in front. And now he moves it. He might have a step here. All alone. What a save on the play. The bench warmers will play it from the defensive zone. With possession along the wall. And that goes off a player in front. Pinned up along the boards. Oh, just rocked on the play. Man, you hear the old term, bone jarring? That one had to hurt. The boards are still moving from that collision. Takes the pass from his goaltender. Here's a short pass to Mason. Big stop by the keeper. Really good stop. After he made the first one, he's got to find the puck, and he's in position again. And that slides right out to center ice. Quick pass to Sparks. Sparks has it in the defensive end. And that's intercepted. The bench warmers have done a good job with their sticks. Intercepting passes, yet they haven't been able to stretch this game out. It's a three-on-one. Scores! The captain delivers! Boston's back to center ice, and now it is just a deficit of one. What a difference just the one goal makes in the way that you look at the game. What makes you think is possible. They only need one more to even this up. Puts it on net. Puts it off the post. Boston's only looking for something to go right. Get themselves back in this contest. But this hits the goalpost, and the score remains unchanged. And that one's turned away. Regains control here in the neutral zone. Shot stopped by the blocker. Grabbed along the board by Mason. Taken by Mason. And that's taken by the defense. Carries it across the line. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Sparks. Here's a howitzer at the net. That eyes him on the play. Big hit along the boards. Wow, did he finish him off there. Really nice hit along the wall. Quick feed to Andrew. Rocks him on the play. And now he tries to get it across. Wow. The scores! Matt, shooters remember this. I mean, I don't. I never shot them off the bar and in, but it looks like a fun thing to do. Don't sell yourself short, man. But I am. Really good shot. The goaltender can't catch it. It hits the crossbar and bounces in. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Scored by number 10. And that's blocked. Move to the middle. Big save. And that one's blocked. Move to the middle. And that's time on the period. Unrelenting. But the clock just simply ran out. Wow, that was impressive to finish up. Don't go anywhere. The third period is just moments away. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James. Third period action. Ready to go. Moment of truth for one team. Here we go. Third period is underway. Ray Ferraro is back down at ice level. Ray, 40 minutes played so far. What's been your assessment of this tilt? Boston's game plan really can't change. Trying to shake loose. He's in the clear. He scores. Oh, what a move. Complete team effort tonight, but they really look good offensively. 
their arms are going to be tired from all the times they've had them up in the air here. This has been a <laughs> dominating offensive performance. No kidding. Assisted by number one, Andrew. Time of the goal, one minute, 48 seconds. Pittsburgh's got the puck. The bench warmers gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. Drives it to the front of the net. Blocker saved by the goalkeeper. Comes up with the steal. He's got a little jump. He's in. All alone. Oh, he scores. Oh, what a move. GRT. What a great goal. He beats the goaltender out after he blows the pack away and pulls away on the breakaway. Lamplighting performance continues here with another goal in the third. They can walk home. They have dominated this third period. They've stretched the lead out into a really comfortable margin. By number 18, time of the goal. Pittsburgh's got the puck in their own end. Race for the puck here. Icing waved off on the play. Puck knocked loose after that hit. Denies him with the save. He'll keep it alive and moves it ahead. And now it's over to Mason. Puck grabbed by Jones. Nice feed from the left side up the middle. Jocelyn for the puck, and it's knocked away. Takes it across the blue line. Referee stops the play. We've got a penalty shot on the way. He's going to look up at the big board and see that. You know what? That's a trip for sure. he got to stick in the wrong spot. Big save and breathe a sigh of relief. Shooter didn't get done what he wanted to. He wanted to open the goalie up, but the goalie stays square and makes the stop. Nearing the midway mark of the period, the Dream Killers have a four-goal lead. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And the puck's booted away. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the wall. Lays the body. Boston's got possession here in the neutral zone. Hammers one. Can't get it to go. And now he angles it across to Mason. Beats the goalie, but can't beat the post. Andrews taking it from his own end. Desperately trying to get it out of the end. Penalty shot coming up. There's the whistle as the puck hits out of play. Here's his chance, one-on-one -on -one with the goalie. And he scores on the penalty shot. This is my favorite move when I play, James. You fake the shot, go to your backhand, and beat the goaltender there. The bench warmers have a long way to go still here in the third. I guess you get your scorers out there and you try and keep climbing out of a hole, but it's not very pretty right now. Grabs the puck at center. Here's a shot, shuts him down. The Dream Killers move the puck in the defensive zone. Moves it to Sparks. Takes the pass. Pittsburgh's got it in their own zone. Ahead of steam now towards the front. Denied by the goaltender. Here in the late goings of the period, Boston's been dominated to this point, trailing by three. Buck has dropped and we are back underway. And now he moves it to Mason. Here they come on the attack. Fires one on goal. Denied by the blocker. And now it's grabbed by Mason. Moves close to the point. Puck scooped up by Mason. Scores! On the rebound, he pops it! Boston's narrowed the gap here in the third, but still a long way to go, Red. James, this is still way down the road to even this game up. But if you get one, maybe you get another. Maybe they get nervous. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Boston's had more shots on goal, but yet they've run into a hot goalie. And they trail late in this third period. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Sparks takes the puck. Behind the net, looking for the transition game. 
and tries to make a diagonal pass to Andrew. And look at that sip down the ice to wave off icing. You've got to get past the hash marks to get it waved off. He does a good job. That's a solid check on the play. Moose. Stranger coming over here. If you don't recognize him, I know you're pretty well. You got a voice like sugar, sugar in your tea. And he could sing you in a song, I sing it sweeter than me. Blind your eyes, steal your tongue. You'll take it when you're over. Money like some Now just moments away. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. A little three-on-three three in the EASHL on tap for this one. A sight every hockey fan can appreciate. It's a clean sheet of ice, and we are about to get underway. Well, the hype for this one has been off the hook. Puck is dropped. Let's see if this one actually lives up to it. Clapperton's lugging the puck. Now over to Dangle. Slides the puck near the front of the net. Stones him in front. Oh, you're not going to get a better chance than that, but the goalkeeper does a great job. will go to work here in the offensive zone. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Carries it in. Look out, a two-on-one. Big time defensive play. 
With some momentum driving towards the net, the Dream Killers take over on possession. Here's a short pass to Jones. Slides the puck over. Blocked in traffic. Pittsburgh's got the puck now. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. Quick pass to Theodore. Huge stick save by the goaltender. Dead center, excellent save. And he comes up with the save. The Dream Killers gain possession along the wall. Smart read by the defender to come up with it. Pittsburgh's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Pittsburgh's gained possession along the boards. The Dream Killers take possession here in the open ice. And he'll go one-on-one -on -one with the goaltender with a penalty shot. Funny, coaches always tell you, get your stick on the puck. And then when you try and the guy trips up, they tell you, get your stick out of there. Big time oh. stop under fire. Only two guys moving on the ice. One of them makes the shot, but the goaltender comes up large. Theodore's won the draw. Hammers the shot, and he stands tall in goal. While the setters are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. And that's picked off. Quick feed to Jones. Let's it go, and he makes the save. Setters jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. Over the line they come. Moves it around along the half wall. Takes a shot. Deflected in front. And that's a paddling from the goaltender. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. And he gets the puck right back. Right in front with the shot. Denied by the goaltender. We often talk about a goalie's reflexes. You've got to have quick hands to make a glove stop like that. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. Dangles going to play it to the corner. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Exploring options from behind the net. Slides the puck down low. Lugs the puck into the offensive zone corner. Moves it to Larson. The Hogs have it in the offensive end. Stopped by the goaltender. Yeah, it's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. Moves it quickly over to Sparks. What a stop! as we are still scoreless. And while both teams get a refresher, we'll take one ourselves heading into the second period.
clean sheet of ice. Period two is set to go. Both teams still feeling each other out after a scoreless 20. Let's see if that changes here in period number two. Well, this one underway. Ray, give us an update on what your assessment is to this point. He scores! What a goal! When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. Pittsburgh's had the scoring opportunities. They just haven't been able to capitalize as they continue to trail. Through the offensive zone and behind the net now. A chance in front. Let's the wrister go. Blocker save. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. Stopped by the goaltender. Sends it over to Dangle. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. Great defensive play to come up with the puck. Pittsburgh's coaches had talked about stick positioning to us before the game. There's a great example. They've done it all night. The Hogs have had more scoring opportunities to this point, but they continue to trail early in this second period. Here's the chance to set up now. Off a stick. And look at this. It's a parent all alone. Huge stop by the goaltender. Oh, he read that perfectly. Excellent position to make the stop on the breakaway. And the puck departs the zone. Comes out to play the puck. Taken along the wall by Theodore. Carries the puck inside the neutral zone. Moves the puck along the half wall. Centering pass! Big save by the goaltender! And now he tries to get it across to Andrew. It's a two-on-one. Heads to the back of the net. Pittsburgh's looking to break out of their own end. Takes it across the blue line. And a poke check knocks the puck away. And now it's over to Clapperton. He might have a step here. He's clear with the pass. Scores! He must have seen a sliver of room there. He doesn't waste any time. He snaps that pass the goalie and capitalizes on the breakaway. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. He's got a stride on the defender. Stopped by the goaltender. Picked off. Tried to be too cute on the pass. Heads deep inside the offensive zone. Sends the pass across the ice. Long pass. It's a 2 on 0 oh. Sends it over. And that doesn't lead to anything. It apparently he wasn't open enough. He doesn't even really get a dangerous chance. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it along the wall. Here's a short pass to Theodore. And he scores. He's tight to the net. He doesn't have much time. And that snapshot beats the goaltender from the low slot. Here in the dying moments of this period, Pittsburgh's trailing by one. Quick pass to Theodore. What a steal in his own end. And we've got a two-on-one. Here's the pass. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Poked away by the goaltender. Turns it away. He's sharp on this one. Out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. At center ice now. He grabs the puck. To his teammate. Oh, just wide. He didn't miss that by much. He got lots on it. Pittsburgh's regained possession of the puck. Jones moves it into the attacking end and puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. Let's it go for the back end. And there's the wrap-up cue for period number two. 2-1 two is where things sit after two periods of play. for what should be a very intriguing third.
And we are just moments away from the start of the third period. Barring extra time, the final frame of this one. Here we go. Third period is underway. Ray, with two periods in the books, what are your thoughts on the game to this point? Trying to gain a step. He's in. Sends it over. Denies him on the breakaway. Tosses it to Dangle. Look out, a two-on-one. Centering pass. Quick feed to Clapperton. And that's blocked away. Andrew's got the puck in his own zone. And he slides it quickly to Sparks. Here they are on the attack. And now it's to Sparks. Just wide. They say it's a game of inches, James. If that puck is a couple of inches to the side, that hits the post and goes in. And that's picked off in front. Here they come on the attack. Sends it across. Stopped by the blocker. Laying the body. Here's a chance. Beautiful 360 with the puck. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Here he is in front. Moves it to Theodore. Official blows the whistle. And you know what that means. It's a penalty shot. He's got to keep his feet moving so he doesn't get called for interference. Jones is ready to go. And the officials didn't like that. And quite frankly, you can't do that in hockey. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. We've got a 2-1 game. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Oh, what a stop! All right, bud. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Explores his options behind the net. Moves it quickly over to Sparks. Sparks carries the puck in his own zone. Tries to get the puck to Jones. Slides it across, and that goes off a player in front. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the wall. Carries it in. Great hand-eye coordination as he gets the puck back. Pittsburgh's got the puck in their own end. Along the half wall with the puck. Looks to make a play over to Dangle. Here's a short pass to Theodore. Great chance in front. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. And he slides it quickly to Jones. Gets the puck back onto his stick. Booming shot, and that's blocked. The Hogs scoop it up along the boards. Over the line they come. Sends it out right in front, and that one's broken up. With the steal. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Oh. He scores! Could we get OT here? Well, we got a better chance now, don't we? The game's tied up late here in the third period. The coach was pushing his players to stay aggressive, and they get the equalizer. This neutral zone faceoff set to go, and we are back underway. Pittsburgh's gained possession. Tosses it on to Dangle. Quick pass to Theodore. And that's broken up. Sparks moves the puck. Smart read by the defender to come up with it. They've got numbers. Just wide. Here's an offensive chance. Inside of the final minute here in the third. Into the corner. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. On the attack along the boards. Right in the slot. Puck picked up by Theodore. Quick feed to Sparks. And it's a quick pass to Andrew. Moves the puck. Taken by Sparks. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Pass right in front. And he whiffs on it. Through center along the wing. And here's a chance with a penalty shot on the way. As soon as the hands go up when they start to plead with the ref, you know they know they're guilty. He takes a deep breath at center ice, puts it in on the penalty shot, and they take the lead. Enormous goal. They put all kinds of pressure on. Finally, they're able to cash in. They break a tie game, and there's almost no time left for an equalizer. 
Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. There's the final horn, and this one's in the books. They had the puck a lot. They controlled it in the offensive zone. What I really like, though, James, and it, I think this mattered a lot as to the final score, is they didn't turn it over much at all. We hear the term puck possession an awful lot in today's game. They maximize their opportunities. And that'll do it for Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. Thank you. They got three. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. A little EASHL showdown set to go down. things underway. The Maple Leafs take possession here on the opening draw and we are underway. There's the whistle from the linesman calling an offside. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Slides it over to Jones. Picks off the pass. A little bumping around, but still maintains possession. Toronto's got into the offensive zone. 
Deeds plays it against the boards. Takes a shot off the crossbar. Centered out in front. And a bad pass, and they'll be forced to start all over again outside the offensive end. Right up the gut, here they go. Takes a shot, can't get it to go. Jones plays it into the offensive zone. Toronto's got the puck inside the defensive zone. McKinnon. Moving to the middle, and he scores! What a shot! Man, these burn the coaching staff. When they see a player get open in the high slot, the first thing they're going to look for is who's supposed to be standing near him. From the neutral zone now. Oh, he caught him in the open ice! Takes it at center. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. From off the wall and onto a stick. Sends it over. Makes the save. Toronto's got control of it now from their own end. Scarbosa's got the puck through the neutral zone. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And they'll be forced to tag up after that missed pass. Grabs the puck. And now he passes up to McKinnon. McKinnon's got the puck. Hammers a shot and a great save. And off the save, that one goes into the crowd for a souvenir. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Blocker saved by the goalkeeper. Uses the boards with the bank pass. The Maple Leafs get a hold of the puck in their own end. Pittsburgh's got the puck here in the open ice. Drills them. Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. Drives it to the front of the net. Denied by the blocker. And now it's grabbed by McKinnon. Centered out in front. And that one's broken up. The Dream Killers move to the offensive zone. Here's a blast. That goes wide. Let's it go from the slot. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. 48 seconds left in this one. Takes a hit. He goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Works it across to McKinnon. Takes the shot. Makes the save. I have been looking forward to this one for a while. But coming up, period number two. The one, the only, Snoop Dogg in the house. As both teams head to their respective rooms, we'll go recharge ourselves and get ready for a big second period. here tonight. James and Ray with you and business is picking up here. The D-O-double-G is in the house here in the broadcast booth. The one, the only, Snoop Dogg. I gotta tell you, man, I am so amped up. Thanks for doing this. Man, thank you for having me. For shizzle dizzle, I'm in the house. You got into hockey at a young age, listening to Chick Hearn. Favorite team growing up? Favorite team growing up would have to be L.A. Kings. What about the Ducks-Kings rivalry? Is there something there now? I think it's a little rivalry there, considering that the Ducks did happen to win the, you know, Stanley Cup once upon a time. And, uh, you know, that, that rubs, you know, rubs the right way when you can win one of them things. Let's it go! And that banks off a stick. Andrew's stick handling in his own zone. Passes over to Andrew. Here's an odd man rush. 
And he says no! You've been around the league. You've traveled around the world. You must meet some of these athletes. Do you know some NHLers? Yeah, I know a couple of them, man. You know a few friends of mine happen to play in the NHL. P.K. Subban. What up, P.K.? My main man, Sid the Kid, that's my favorite player. But, you know, me and Sid got a nice love for each other. Every time we see each other, we shake hands and bump fists and do what we do. And he do what he does. I does what I do. Come on, man. They just shut man. You know what I'm talking about? I'm also, I, I'm a big fan of Ovechkin, too. And I've been loving him for years. And uh, the goalie quick from the Kings, he's special. You celebrated cups with the Kings. I mean, they let me drink, man. I mean, what was I supposed to do, man? Me and Stanley got to understand. Hey, Stanley. Hey, look, I know I know Chick Hearn, but do you want to still hang around watch the rest of this period? Look here, James. I got a little bit of time on my hand. Let's do it, baby. Let's enjoy this. There he is. He's going to hang out with us. Let's go. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the boards. Toronto's looking to break out of their own end. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Here's the pass. Puck scooped up by Sparks. Oh, and a great defensive play there. Here he is in front! Blocker save! The shooter's right in the guts of the ice, but the goalie squares up, spreads out, and makes the save. Skates in behind the cage. Right to the middle! And that one's broken up! Here's an opportunity to clear the zone. The Maple Leafs gain control of the puck against the wall. Oh, wow. With speed and with purpose. That was a slap shot. What a shot! Toronto's now jumped to a 2-0 lead as they make their way back to center. They're happy about hanging a donut on the other team, but the fact is, this second goal gives them lots of breathing room. Ahead of steam now towards the front. McKinnon's going to play the puck behind the cage. And that's picked off in front. Carries it across the line. Moves it to Andrew. Fires it on net. Turns him away. Here in the late going of the frame, Toronto's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Moves it quickly over to Andrew. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. Easily turned away by the glove. Toronto's been the better team tonight, and they lead as a result late in the second. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. A lot of options to choose from, a lot of fun hanging out with you. What's our play of the period? Uh, it's going to be a hard decision, but I'm going to say, remember that goal? Pull me that footage up from that goal. I yeah, that goal was Let's old. do it. just around the corner. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James. Third period action. Ready to go. Here we go. Put up or shut up for both teams here in this third period. We are underway. Ray Ferraro is back down at ice level. Ray, 40 minutes played so far. What's been your assessment of this tilt? Pittsburgh's been a step slow almost all game. They haven't had the puck very much. They're losing. If that's going to change, they've got to get the puck and hold on to it much more. 
And they'll be forced to regroup after the puck bounces out of the offensive zone. Nears the blue line and looks to set up at the point. Shot, big time stop there. Sparks works the puck in his own zone. Toronto's got a hold of it along the wall. Directs it on over to McKinnon. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Pittsburgh's got the puck. Jones takes it across the line. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. And now he moves it quickly to Jones. The Maple Leafs get a hold of it. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. And makes the save. Toronto's attempt to put more pucks on net has paid off as they lead it in the third. The frozen biscuits dropped and we are back underway here. Great balance as he scoops it back up. The Maple Leafs look to start the transition game. Centered out in front! With possession along the wall. Snaps it onto the net, gives them nothing in front. The Dream Killers will play it in their own end. It's a two-on-one. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Tic-tac-kaboom. The puck blows up off his stick. He's in a position to do something better with it than that. From the top of the offensive zone here. Sends a pass over. Blocked in traffic. Puck picked up by Jones. Moves the puck over to Jones. Deeds plays it now. Angles it over to McKinnon. And play continues here. What a steal in his own end. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Here's a short pass to Andrew. Denied by the puck stopper. Quick hands. Not only does he get a glove on it, he catches it, which is hard to do. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Gets down to knock it away. Smart defensive play there. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Pittsburgh's got the puck in their own end. They've got the defense outnumbered. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Takes it across the blue line. That's a solid hit. Big time defensive play. Here they are on the attack. Rips it. What a shot! He scores! Oh man, the goalie thought he had this covered, James. You can tell from his body language, but it beats him, hits the post that goes in. The Dream Killers have got a big one here in the third now. Well, you gotta be careful that the clock melts away fast on you, but now they've got a chance. Now a quick pass to McKinnon. And the officials waving off icing here. And that one's broken up. And now he angles it across to Jones. Slides the puck near the front of the net. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Moves it around along the half wall. Moves the puck behind the net. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Here they come on the attack. And he regains control of the puck. A chance to get it out of the defensive zone. Big defensive play on that clear. Now yeah, Puck's got to get out, especially late. He does a nice job here. Receives the pass. Easily turned away by the goalie's glove. Toronto's been the better team offensively tonight. A lot of scoring chances, and they lead it late in this third period. And that'll close the book on this one as the final horn sounds. Puck possession, the name of the game in this one tonight, Ray. Really good job. They had the puck, they kept the puck, and when they didn't have a play, they seemed to put it into a place where they were going to get it next. They controlled the play, and therefore controlled the game. Well, this one's in the books. A fun one tonight for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us, everyone, tonight.
it's a, it's a, it's a typical story where the bassist, the singer, the guitarist, and the drummer find they're in love with each other. It's the story of the kid who clearly won't know what to say when the love of his life starts to calmly walk away. And it's the story of the dad who decides to chase his dream. He quits his job, he falls apart, and he loses everything. And it's the story of the kid who just wants to make a record, loves and crafts it, but nobody ever, ever cares about it. Whoa. Staying the same or worsening So what's the point of finding calm When calm to me is unsettling Settle down, little K Your bones are shaking in your skin Go and try and take a breath Oh, nothing more, nothing less a Typical story of a king who had it all Except for citizens who didn't want his head up on a wall It's the typical story of the wife who couldn't quit Being in love with such a giant piece of It's the story of the queen Who could never ever think of any redeeming quality really need much just a place to be alone and you don't really see much i think that i'm invisible my mirror shows another guy a guy doesn't do he just sits in his miserable everybody's gotta live a life and they didn't ask for why would he put me here just to die He's gotta live a life And they didn't ask for Why would he put me here Just to die Just to, just to Die Hey, hey, what's your name? Talk to each other, guys, you hate We should sit in silence while we think of what to say Hey, hey, I don't think This is working out, will you forget I even asked you to come over to my house Hey, hey, I don't think I know much Well, here we go. The moment of truth has arrived. A little three-on-three three in the EASHL on tap. James Zabalski, Ray Ferraro, ready to bring you all the action. Two teams hungry for two points, and we are ready to drop the puck. The bench warmers start with possession as we are now underway. Quick pass to Smith. With some momentum driving towards the net, gets in front of it. King so sharp on this. Reads the play, reads the puck, makes the save. And he slides it quickly to Jones. Oh boy, here comes a three on one comes up with the stop and that's blocked away sends the pass over makes a move and the puck hops away from him you get in so close you work so hard to get the chance he tried one too many moves and the puck's gone Toronto's got it in the neutral zone King swooping in on the attack quick feed to Smith hammers it on net oh what a stop quick feed down low Oh, and another big stop. Slides it across to Sparks. And we've got a two-on-one. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. And now he moves it to Murphy. Comes up with the steal. 
And that's picked off. Moves it on over to Sparks. Here's a chance. Toronto's got the puck now. King's got it across the line. Moves it to Smith. Smith's going to play it against the half wall. Heads deep inside the offensive zone. Here's a shot. Puts it high. Yeah, it sounds great. Hit the net, though. You got a better chance to score. Comes up with a stop. Zooms here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Carries it in. Here's a shot, and that one stopped. That's a lot of hard work for him. And he'll go line up for his penalty shot. His stick gets in between his feet, and when the player goes down, the penalty's going to be called. He takes a deep breath at center ice. It's go time here. Off the lights, the lamp on the penalty shot, and they take the lead. Deke when I was on a breakaway or a penalty shot, but the trick is to freeze the goalie, sell the shot before you make your move. Pittsburgh's got the game's first goal just past the midway mark of the first. What's the mindset now here? They were just talking on the bench. Let's go get another. I like it. You're up one. Be aggressive. Go push the other team against the wall. Smith's got it on the offensive end. Here's a blast! Oh, just wide! Right in his wheelhouse, he powders it, but just misses. Past the halfway mark of this period, 1-0 is where we sit at this point. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. And that's intercepted. Toronto's got the puck along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Smith. They've got numbers! Here's Whoa. a chance! Scores! The captain comes through! Actually, James, it's amazing to me how many times an odd man rush gets screwed up. They deliver this one perfectly, and they put one on the board. Here in the late goings of the period, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Look out, a two-on-one to his teammate with the stop. The bench warmers gain possession along the wall. And another stop. Quick work. He makes one and two saves in a row. With authority. Pittsburgh's got control of it now here in the offensive end. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Andrew. Toronto's grabbed a hold of the puck. Final minute approaching. No surprise, the penalty shot being signaled. Jones is ready for his penalty shot. He scores and gives him the lead. JP makes a great move here. He freezes the goaltender selling the shot. And Deekson puts it away. The Dream Killers take the lead here in this first period. Nice to play from out front. Gives yourselves a little bit of a cushion if you happen to give one up. Grabbed along the boards by Murphy. Wings the iron. The bench warmers grab possession to the puck. Centering pass. Fires it. And that'll do it. Period number one is in the books. 2-1 is where we sit after 20 minutes of play in a fun one with both teams getting on the board here. As both teams get a breather, so will we. We'll take a quick pause for the cause.
Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James. Second period set to go. Here we go. Middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Ray, what's your assessment of the game to this point? Toronto's not going to want to change much in that first period. Just the score. They had the puck a lot, but they trail by one. And now he tries to get it across to Andrew. Quick shot, just wide of the net. Toronto's got control of the puck. Smith's got it into offensive territory. Taken by Murphy. Shoots it, stopped by the blocker. Scooped up along the wall by Sparks. Smith's got it against the boards. Here's a chance on the doorstep. And a smart head's trying to shake loose. All alone. Pittsburgh's got control of it now from their own end. Quick shot. Oh, what a beautiful glove save. Here's a short pass to Andrew. Trying to gain a step. Flips it across. Takes it across the blue line. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Andrews carrying it ahead. Let it go! And that goes off the iron and stays out. Trying to get back on the attack now. Takes control of the puck. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Smart heads up, play to intercept the pass. Pittsburgh's coaches had talked about stick positioning to us before the game. There's a great example. They've done it all night. The Dream Killers have it in the offensive zone. Here's an odd man rush. Break away. Can't connect. And that one's broken up. And it's broken up. Oh, he's not going to want to see that on the video. The defender just raced up and closed the gap to push the puck away. Oh, great play to use the wall, handling the pass. Snaps it on net. Stopped by the goaltender. He makes the glove stop right from the slot. That's a dangerous chance. Oh, cuts up with a stop. Quick pass to King. Intercepts the pass. Great little poke check by the goaltender there. Toronto's got a hold of it along the wall. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Here we go. Penalty shot coming up. Jones has got the puck, and here he comes. Makes the stop under pressure. Nowhere to go. The puck's got no lane into the net. The goalie does an outstanding job. Pittsburgh's generated a lot of quality scoring chances, which is why they lead here late in the second. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Moves the puck along the half wall. Stretches one out to King. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Feeds the puck up to Jones. Right in the open ice. That one's picked off. Passes on over to Andrew. Moves right to the middle. Finds nothing but air on that shot. Hard sounds bringing the second period to an end. 2-1 is where things sit after 40 minutes. in store for the third period let's tune in to find out just moments away
And they are ready to drop the puck on period number three. Moment of truth for one team. Here we go. Third period is underway. Ray Ferraro is between the benches at ice level. Ray, we've got 40 minutes played so far. How have you viewed things? Toronto's first two periods have been marred by turnovers. Every time it looks like they're going to get something going, they burp up another one. They don't have the puck much, and they're behind in the game. The Dream Killers lead this one early in the third period. They have been the more aggressive team offensively with the lead in the shot department. On the heels of their blades, trying to get it out. There's the whistle, and we got a penalty shot coming up. Here's the moment of truth. Oh, and he yeah, makes it pay as he scores on the penalty shot. Really nice move here. The shooter sells it. The goalie freezes, and he puts it in the net. Pittsburgh's goal here early in the third has now given themselves a two-goal lead. Coaches are pretty happy with this start. You come out of the intermission leading by one, and you tell your team, get after it, be aggressive. They were, and now they lead by two. And he'll get a chance with a penalty shot. Fishing around for the puck, he gets a stick into the player's feet, and this becomes an easy call. All eyes here at center. He scores! Nice move. Love it. What a great move. He's got the goaltender on the screen, pulls him right out of position, and fires it into the net. The Dream Killers have been whipping their opponents all night long, and it continues here in the third. This has been as good a performance as you can possibly imagine. There's really nothing to say behind the He scores! Boys. That's how you do it! Leadership to a T! The captain capitalizes! Once you get the goalie down, you better not give him another chance. The shooter sticks this right up into the top of the net. Perfect goal. Toronto still got to find two more goals, but they at least have one back. That gives them a little bit of hope, and the bench seems to have come alive a little bit. The bench warmers have it in the offensive end. Along the half wall with the puck. Puts it on net. Plus saved by the goalie. Puck grabbed by Sparks. Over the line they come. Toronto's looking to break out of their own end. He's got a little jump. He's in all alone. Great save. And the puck leaves the offensive zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the wall. Slides the pass over to Smith. Moves the puck into the attacking area. From the slot, wrist shot, stopped by the goaltender. Aggressive stop out on top of the crease to make the save on a dangerous chance. Sends it across. From the left side, moves it up ahead. Long lead pass into the neutral zone. Drives it to the front of the net. Let's it go. And there's the save. Takes the feet in a whole lot of trouble. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Quick feed to Sparks. Just wide. Near the point. On the doorstep, backhander. Blocker saved by the goalkeeper. Yeah, he gets out on top of the shooter. There's really nowhere for that puck to go. Denies him in front. Right on the doorstep. I love the way they've played this shift. They've protected the puck well, but now they've got it, and they can run around the zone. The defenders can't chase them. They're too tired. Carries it across the line, and down he goes as the puck goes free. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Ahead of steam now towards the front. Handles the puck. Look out. Here's a 2 on a great score, He scores! Right? Boy, he didn't take much time at all. He was so tight to the net, and he makes a nice move to finish it off. That was filthy. I would try to deke every time on a breakaway. You got the goaltender at your mercy. Throw a couple of fakes on him and put it away. 
The bench warmers are back at center ice, probably breathing a little easier now, Ray. They needed to get one, James. If you trail by two for too long, the clock just runs out on you. You run out of time. Toronto's gained possession. Smith's able to take that quick pass. He's already got a couple of goals. He's looking for a third. Nice defensive robbery with the stick. And now it's over to King. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Dishes it to Andrew. Andrew's got it in the defensive end. Exploring options from behind his own net. And he moves it up to Jones. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Slides it across. And now he angles it across to Sparks. Takes it across the blue line. Slides it back to the blue line. A chance from the slot. Nice save by the keeper to trap that puck in his chest. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. Offensive zone face-off, and he wins the draw. Denied by the blocker. Certain saves are more difficult than others. This one right from the slot is turned aside. And that goes off a player in front. Here they come on the attack. Sends it over. Big time defensive play. And that will close the book on this one here tonight. Well, they'll look at it and say, hey, we controlled play at certain points. We had a better face-off percentage, but just not enough.
Tattoo, don't know what to tell you 